Hey folks, I am Grimwit, this is Miasmata. We're at Outpost Town. That's a good thing. Hmm, instructions on a muscle emphasis drug. Not that we needed them, the owls would have told us. Speaking of owls, in this particular episode, we'll be searching for one. But, I... we won't see one. Just... just so you know. Outpost Dao really likes their elevated structures of terror. Information on finding a new kind of mushroom, scaly and blue. The people who lived at Outpost Tau were very confident in their ability to balance. Not a one of them thought of anything like handrails or ropes. Nope. All of them said, you know what? I will never get dizzy, and I will never fall over. It's just as well. Outpost Tau is also split into two groups. The two houses we've just explored, with our deadly banana, and a couple of more down the road, sort of built in and on a ravine. Handrails? What are handrails? It's hard to tell from watching the video. But when you play the game, going downstairs is not as precarious as it feels. It still feels like you might run off the edge on accident, though. But the biggest danger stairs pose to a person is you can't see them when you're above them. House three, house four. And a river downstairs. Everything seems all right here. Tiny little coffins. We've seen that plant before. What? With a banana? I don't know. Robert Hughes is somebody who just got here. Would probably wonder, who's writing on all these chalkboards? It's the same handwriting, too. We kind of know about this. We've already found one energy stimulant. But since our endurance emphasis drug, we haven't really needed it. To be sure, if we took an energy stimulant drug, it would raise us from normal to high, which just means we'd be able to run for even longer.
plenty of trails around the island. I haven't explored all of the trails. I tend to go off the path. You may play differently, but if you want to find any new plants, you're going to have to go off the path eventually. Good fishing spot. My Minecraft instincts are starting to kick in. I want to whip out a fishing rod and just start catching all the puffer, puffer fish I can. These again. Okay. This poses something of a mystery. I keep searching for these particular mushrooms and I figure I didn't get it. It's a pearl grayish mushroom, but more pearl than gray. Or green, or blue-green, cyan. So I pick it up figuring I would put a new entry in my journal and it didn't happen. So I figured, screw it, I'll research it. And when I did, it didn't turn me to any new page. So, I synthesized something out of it, just to figure out what I synthesized, and it gave me a mental stimulant. So, it's a gray mushroom, but it doesn't look gray, and it just drives me nuts. Alright, that's enough of that. That's one of those little things. It doesn't look like a gray mushroom that I picked up before. It just bugged me. The trouble with playing this game for you guys, after so long of not playing it myself, I have beaten this game perhaps two or three times. But it was a long while ago. So my memory of where that owl is, is a little rusty. I have vague memories of it being over on the left side of the trail leading away from Outpost Down. Another trick, running downhill towards a tree. Stop my progress. More effective than sliding down a hill sideways. So where is the owl statue? If you're playing along and you find it, do tell me. I finally sort of gave up and wanted to check out that structure down there. It does count as a landmark. Not that I needed to pinpoint my location. Where is that owl? It's such a weird owl. <laughs> that was a bad pun. I make no apologies for it. Imagine doing research for creating a game about a tropical island. Oh, uh, yeah, I do need to go to the Bahamas for business reasons.
the previous citizens of this island must have used this as a kind of ceremonial stage. It's well kept. It's high enough out of the ocean so that sand doesn't just build up on it and cover it up. And it has the remains of some structure nearby. A temple? I'm not sure why this building wasn't built closer to the structure. Maybe they didn't want to disturb things. How many archaeologists came on the voyage? Mental clarity information. The sound of the surf. I'm beginning to think that this island is not in the ocean. A sea or a gulf. I visited the ocean once. It chewed me up and spit me out. I felt lucky that it at least let me keep my swimming shorts on. I visited the gulf though. Much calmer. Kind of like this water here. have these images of hula girls doing loa dances. Wow, did that come out racist? I didn't mean for it to. But just celebrations on these structures. Some kind of offering to the golf. There aren't any volcanoes on this island. I know, I've checked. So who knows what gods these savages worshipped. No need to map this place out. It's already fully covered. It's more of where's this structure on the map. That's why I was looking at it. At this point, though, I was thinking about completing my quest of finding that owl. The statue seems to be missing, as if somebody took it away or out of the program before I started playing, as a joke. Kind of like training me to do karate wrong. As a joke. Ah, friggin' sensei. trying to remind myself, where was it? Where was it? After this recording session, I eventually looked up a walkthrough to try to find that particular owl. And according to it, I passed it many times, not seeing it. At this point of playing, though, I hadn't seen the walkthrough and instead just said screw it. 
I know roughly where the plant is that I'm looking for. It's so near Outpost Tau that, you know, why not? The area nearby is a forest that's um, not unlike the mini swamp near Ruin Site B. Not as wet, obviously. But lots of miniature cliffs and possible missteps. As long as you're careful in this area, it doesn't really matter. It's roughly southwest of Outpost Down. And it's a very distinctive plant. You'll know it when you see it. Some flowers like to compensate, I guess. It's right around here. These two ponds. Which would be west, not southwest of Outpost Dow. That's my famously accurate sense of direction at work. To those who are afraid of getting lost in this game, don't worry about it. It's not an if, it's a when. from where we are if we head either north or west or any combination of those two we'll end up back at the trail again that leads to town no big deal it is logic Come on, Robert, put that endurance emphasis drug to work. And now we know exactly where we are. Fast forward a bit. Let's see what this does. Although we've had plenty of notes to tell us what it does, but let's see what it does specifically. Muscle emphasis drug. We have its counterpart. Might as well whip us up a vaccine that will finish off the last of the symptoms of our plague. Um, just take that. It won't add to our mental stimulant, but it'll at least get it out of the way. As a mental note, I don't actually know what will happen if you try to create something while there's another thing in the finished disc. The finished tray, I mean. All right, let's hook it into our veins. And with that, we are normal. And we can begin to swim. This will be handy for a nearby ingredient. Robert Hughes takes a drink. 
walks outside, admires the scenery, and just generally feels good. We'll start from here next episode. Until then, we'll call it an episode here, and, um... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and stay tranquil.